Just last week, TikTok and its parent company, ByteDance, filed a legal challenge over the a legislation that would force the app to sell or be banned in the U.S. And the suit cites its users' First Amendment rights. Now, some users are also suing the government. A group of eight TikTok creators are claiming the law violates their rights to free speech. Better call Brian. Joining us now with his perspective, ABC News contributor, Brian Bachmeyer. Good to see you, man. Always a pleasure. Thank uh, you. So we have to start with the most obvious question. Do these content creators have a case here? They actually do. If they can establish that this is a violation of their First Amendment rights, that they have this unique speech and this very unique uh, algorithm and, and an application, that the government is in essence saying you can't use it anymore, we're, we're asking that it no longer is provided in the United States, that is a limitation of their speech, and they do have an argument there, especially when you consider that the solution that the government is putting forward is banning it altogether and not some smaller restriction. It was an attempt at a state ban in Montana. How did that play out, and could it be used as a model moving forward? Oh, absolutely. So, so first and foremost, that case in Montana, it was the TikTok ban was very similar to that of the federal ban that we're seeing now. And a federal judge said, no, you can't do that. In fact, he dug in a little bit deeper, and the judge ultimately said, this seems to be more about an animus towards who is owning uh, the company and less about protecting consumers. And in terms of balancing the needs to uh, allow people to have the First Amendment speech, but also national security, which is a big point of which the government, both in Montana and the federal government is arguing, the judge says that balancing act that you're doing weighs more in favor of First Amendment rights and they block that Montana ban. Let's talk about the government's case. The Justice Department tells ABC News the legislation addresses critical national security concerns in a manner that is consistent with the First Amendment and other constitutional limitations and that it's looking forward to defending its legislation in court. So in cases like this, how does the court decide whose interest wins here? Got it. So, so first and foremost, the first question becomes, this law, does it directly or indirectly ban free speech? If it's indirect, we call it something like content neutral. And there's a lower standard. Think of like the difference between a criminal and a civil case. Obviously, there's a higher standard. If it's an indirect ban, it's a much lower standard. And there, you're asking the question, uh, does the speech that is indirectly limited, the law must further an important government interest, but it has to do so in a substantial way that affects that interest. It's a lower level than if that law directly bans it. If the law says, you know what, we're directly banning this unique uh, algorithm that is TikTok, then you have to have a s higher standard. And that's what the creators are arguing. They're saying, you don't have a compelling interest here, and you haven't narrowly tailored your uh, solution to trying to solve it. The compelling interest being that the creators are saying, your idea of national security is more theoretical. You can't point to an actual instance. And this solution isn't saying just put safeguards. You're saying throw out the baby with the bathwater, so to speak. And so that's kind of how a court may evaluate this, these arguments. All right, so what's next in the case? So in the creator's case, as well as in the TikTok's main case, they're asking for what's called an injunction. I, I would not, probably say it's like a preliminary injunction where they're saying, you know what? We can't do this fire sale of TikTok. If you do so, my interests will be damaged. So they're asking the judge to evaluate the case put a pause on it, allow for the cases to go through the court systems, and then ultimately come up with a solution before TikTok has to ultimately sell its company. Looking at your crystal ball. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Do tell. I've got, a, I've, got a few, I've got a few dollar bets with other attorneys out there. I think they win the injunction. I think there's enough there to get a pause. But ultimately, if the creators can make this a First Amendment right and say that the law is going specifically to their freedom of speech, I think they have a stronger argument. But if they lose that argument to us to say, you know what, it's indirectly affecting them, the government may have a strong argument. But so far, TikTok is 2-0 and with these legal battles both in overturning the former President Donald Trump's executive order and that Montana law that we talked about. So record looks pretty good for them so far. Lots of people watching it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Brian, thank you. We appreciate it.